Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to this uh, vlog for today, the Day. The what is today? So <laughs> I'm just telling you something. I apologize, folks. I'm a little tired. Um, today. Let's see, twenty second, twenty ninth. I'm trying to think here, folks. Excuse me for a second. you basically to this vlog for uh, the 18th, that's right, the 18th of November, 2013, yeah, the 18th, hard to believe, we are now 10 days, nine and a half days away uh, from Thanksgiving, it's, it's hard to believe, and I just woke up, as you can tell, <laughs> I've been asleep most of the day, um, but, you know, what an interesting weekend. Now, we will say that, what a very interesting weekend. Um, uh, I, I can say this, you know, this past week, because of Veterans Day a week ago, a veterans, because, of, because of the fact that we had Veterans Day a week ago, um, my brother-in-law made up the day he missed because of Veterans Day on Friday. So basically, I worked with my brother-in-law from Tuesday to Friday, and we did different, we did different locations, basically. We did basically different uh, locations. Basically, what we start, uh, started out doing was different locations. We started out doing different locations. We started out doing different locations, and um, not only did we start doing different, well, we did do different locations. It was similar. They were they were uh, they were not that different to me, basically. But they were, I thought they were basically going to be certain areas and stuff. Well, anyway, basically my brother-in-law tells me on Monday, oh, I won't need you on Tuesday. Because he said they were going to go someplace else. But apparently that someplace else wasn't until the end of the week. And he ended up taking me anyway. And here's why. Throughout the entire week, I was doing, not vacuuming, I was doing the scrubbing, the brushing, uh, the vehicles, and we went to places like Petaluma, we started out by going to places like Petaluma and San Rafael, Concord, um, to San Francisco, which we had been before, well, I've been before, I've been to Concord as well, Petaluma and San Rafael, then to Richmond and Fairfield, and I think I may have been to Fairfield maybe once, I believe, maybe once, and that's about it. But yeah, we went to all these different locations, and we just scrubbed. And as you can probably watch in my rant video, which I have, will be up probably before this. There was a certain employee there, or a certain fellow worker there, that obviously he's good, but he's not much of a team player at times. Like he knows what to do. My brother-in-law, you know, he kind of gets along with him a little bit, tolerates him, talks with him and all that, laugh, you know, has a joke with him here and there, but personally just doesn't like him because of the fact that he's lazy. You know, he's not a team player, basically. I mean, he's not a team player. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, how can your brother-in-law tolerate and laugh with him and, you know, have, you know, and all that? That's basically, he's, because he's my, my brother-in-law is this guy's boss. So if he doesn't treat him, you know, nicely, if he doesn't treat him, you know, like with respect towards a fellow employee, then he's, uh, you know, basically that guy could 
say something and we don't need any problems or anything. So, so that guy could say stuff and we, we, again, like I said, we don't need any problems. Well, my brother-in-law doesn't need any problems. You know, Again, like I said, we don't need any problems, and neither does my brother-in-law. So, anyway, throughout the entire week, he was having me scrub the vans, and he was having his uh, nephew-in-law, I guess you could say my cousin-in-law as well, uh, do the spraying, and me and the other guy were doing scrubbing. And like I said, you'll, you'll uh, hear this in the video, basically this guy just seemed to not really like having me doing the brushing or anything everything and just wanted me like out of the way, just gone, if you will. <coughs> but I did find out that when you brush you get higher pay and when you vacuum you get half of what you get when you're brushing. So basically what I was making what I was getting for vacuuming, I got uh, you know I got half added to that. I got, you know, basically it's like, if you're making 50 at a job for on one position, and then the other position that you want to be at pays 100, and you finally get to that position, there you go. There's your answer. But anyway, um, but anyway, yeah, uh, we basically, uh, Oh, I basically was scrubbing most of the week, and I made some decent money out of it. So decent, as a matter of fact, that I ended up get, not just helping out here at the house, you know, getting some stuff and things, but I also ended up helping, I also ended up getting some stuff for myself, which is kind of cool. I mean, this past week, I ended up getting some movies that have been out a few weeks and had just come out as well as games, as well. So that was good for me. I mean, as far as movies go, um, you'll see it in the review, in the DVD review, uh, Man of Steel, Mo Man of Steel, um, some movies for my mom that she likes and stuff. And then, of course, later on, I didn't say this yet, but we also finally, I also finally got Monsters University. So within one week, movie-wise, I got two of the biggest movies of the year, Monsters University and Man of Steel, which both look pretty good. And then game-wise, because I haven't really gotten myself a new game in quite some time, well, actually, the la actually, that's not really true. The last time I got a new game was basically at the beginning of this month, and that was WWE 2K14. So basically, it had been... I'd say a couple of days, I'd say when I got paid on the 15th, I got these games on Saturday, I'd say it's been about almost 15 days since I got WWE 2K14, and of course the games I got were, and you'll see one in the review, Injustice, Gods Among Us, Ultimate Edition, <coughs> that's right, Injustice, Gods Among Us, Ultimate Edition, as well as I got the Wii edition, the Nintendo Wii version, or the Nintendo Wii edition of Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's right. I got the Wii edition, because this is on a, a multi-platform game, but I got the Wii edition of Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So that's all good. And I got the game for them, and they didn't play it as much, because apparently I think Jacob, my, my uh, nephew, um, my, ten, my soon to be 10 year old nephew, he has the game, and I think he's played it and almost beat it. But they're more interested in other stuff, so I, I don't know. I mean, it's there if they want to play it. You know, it, it's there if they want to play it, so. Anyway. You know, like I said, it's there. But that's what I did. I also got some other stuff as well, like food, uh, P 
Wikipedia care for the kids because my six-year-old nephew was kind of sick. So I got that and there's some other stuff that I was asked to get as well. And, you know, you know, that is that, you know, for, as far as my money went. I mean my, I mean, my money was in the span of just three days out the window. In the span of three days, Phew! out the window. <coughs> now, some might say, well, you could contribute that to the games and the movies. Maybe. Maybe. But when you look at a game that's about six, around, rounding it out, games that are 60 and $30, that's 90 There's no doubt about it. When you look at a game that's 20 and maybe a game that's five. There you go. Yeah, like so you look at a game that's twenty and maybe five and well there you go. I mean I can understand that adds up. But it wasn't too bad. Actually, it wasn't really too bad at all. So, but anyway, we did that, and um, I apologize for my dog barking in the background. She obviously hears kids or something like that going by. She does it every time kids make noise. It's like she has to start barking, which is a good thing. But anyway, like I said, we um, you know, we did that. You know, I, d I did that and stuff, and and of course the and of course the reason we did it. Um, if you have to know, hold on for a second. And of course, uh, the reason we did it, or the reason, and of course, that's basically the reason I did it. I did it, and um, yeah, had a subway to eat on. Uh, Saturday night for dinner because I had to go back to Walmart and get a few things from for my mom. And uh, yeah, you know, just you know, just do what I had to do, and my money, like I said, just went pew out the window. Just went pew out the window, and that was it. No more money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's kids. It's kids she's barking at. But anyway, like I said, I did all that. I paid, you know, for all that and gave my money just a pew. But of course, I had to give my mom a little extra here and there. Because she needed money for a shower, you know, for a baby shower in our family. So she did that and I had to give her money for that. And she said she was going to give me a change, but she didn't give me a change, and I didn't say really say anything because I expected that. But like I said, just you know, just a very hard working week, and it's going to be a little bit more harder. Well, not so hard uh, now that I think about it, because we're doing smaller areas this week, um, as far as I know, <laughs> for small areas, a um, little more. Oakland, um, Burlingame, Menlo Park, Hayward, and Fremont, and then maybe starting over again with we'll Petaluma and San Rafael. Mm -hmm. 
And of course, looking outside, it depends on the weather, though. But, like I said, you know, just interesting week and weekend, and of course, dealt with some personal issues that have been worked out. Dealt with some personal issues that have been worked out for the positive. That's all I'm going to say there. And then, of course, we had the kids. Um, actually, just two of the kids, the 18-year-old, decided to stay at home and then go out with his friend last night for dinner. So we decided to stay home. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, we, you know, so yeah. Basically, we had the six-year-old and the soon-to-be ten-year-old here, and the ten-year-old got, you know, ten-year-old just conked out early on Saturday night because he was at a shower and he was, it was, he was at the baby shower and he was playing, so he conked out early. And, um, you know, it, it, was, it was good, it was, it was really good, and like I said, it, like I said, it was really good. It was a really good weekend. Like I said, personal issues aside, you know, it was a really good weekend. Except for the fact that two things happened. For me, my cable box, which is not a DVR, but my, but my regular digital cable box burnt out. That's right, it burned out. My digital, bo my cable box burned out. And what I mean is, it just would not play. It would not turn on or anything. I tried everything. I tried unplugging it. I tried resetting the surge protector. I did everything. It was not going to work. So, what I did, basically, is I disconnected it. I, I took the plug out of it, because it's just a universal plug. It's the same plug they use anywhere else. Um, I took the plug out, disconnected it, and took it, put it into the rec room, well not rec room, but put it into the guest room, because in, uh, unless we have kids and all that, we don't have any, we don't really have anybody staying in there. I put it in the guest room, and what I did is I took the guest room one, which obviously is a little newer, maybe, I'm, I'm assuming that, and put it in my room. Because one, it also hasn't been used as much. Now, I don't know exactly what happened. Maybe it's the fact that me and my mom would always leave the TV on, uh, this TV on, or the, that TV on, along with some other, th um, other um, media devi multimedia devices to make it sound like somebody's home. You know, maybe it's because we did that, maybe it finally burned out, maybe it's because I had uh, VCR and a DVD player on top of it. I don't know. I don't know. But it just burned out. Maybe, maybe it was also its time. You know, I mean, I think it was one of the original boxes that we've had in this house since I moved here. So I'm guessing maybe it was its time. Maybe it was time for it to finally just say. <clears throat> so yeah, my cable box burned out, and I had to basically switch it. A and then, to top that off, um, we went to church yesterday, which was fun. Always good to go back, always good to go to church. We went to church. We went to church, and again, like I said, we went to church. And then, afterwards, we went to Walmart. And let me just say this. For somebody that used to work for Walmart and hopes to again someday, let me say this. Walmart needs to add a stipulation, a policy into the system. A policy that says, when you come in with kids, if kid kids are not allowed to touch. They can look, but no touch. What I mean is, 
my ten year old, my soon to be ten year old nephew was just not really listening. My six year old nephew likes to kind of imitate what he does and things. And um, anyway, like I said, to me, Walmart needs to do something that's going to make sure kids stick by their parents or stick by the people that are around because. You know, it's like, if they don't listen, they're going to do what they want. And that's apparently what he did, you know. I mean, he's a good kid and all that. It's just that he needs to listen better. I mean, I understand the attraction of the new Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles. It's like, to me, it's like those kind of toys are calling kids like my nephew going like, Come, look at us, touch, take. And it's like the kids are like this, like, yes. We must touch. Yes, we must go to toys. It's like they're hypnotized. You know, and I can understand the attraction to certain toys. I mean, you know, one of the first locations I go to is electronics. I will admit that. But I don't touch. I look. I'll give you an example. The other day when I got Injustice and Ninja Turtles, I wait. I got them saved. That's right. Basically what I did is I waited, I waited, if you will, to after I was done shopping to, you know, buy them. Yeah, I mean, I already had them, I already had an assistant get them out. Oh, but technically I waited to the end to get them. Yeah, I mean, I got maybe a few items before I got the assistant to take them out, but I waited to the end to get them. And here's why. Because to me, shopping for food and supplies was a little bit more important off the bat than getting the games. So, anyway, went and did that. So anyway, we went to Walmart and, like I said, Kids need to, obviously, kids need to listen better in Walmart because when they're around the toy sections or around toys that they want and things that they want, especially around this time of the year, ugh, either Walmart needs to put a new policy or new rule that says when kids are in here, kids need to be staying next to their parents all the time or else, or they need to have something like maybe some employees just walking around locations Nations are doing something, making sure kids don't touch. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, all I can say is kids need to listen better, and that's all I'm going to say. You know, and then despite the fact that he uh, he was he was disobeying, and then obviously my other nephew was kind of a little not you know kind of moody at times. I don't know what was going on. Uh, I still got the McDonald's. I still got a McDonald's and all that, so. I still got a McDonald's. And then everything was okay. <sighs> Going into last night, and um, my second older sister and her husband came down for dinner. She made dinner uh, because it was her first weekend off in a long time. Uh, from her new job, so she made dinner. Um, they, we had, you know, me and my brother-in-law went back to Walmart and got a few, got some items that we needed as well for the night, and um, came back and everything was cool. You know, they watched a lot of, they watched most of Man of Steel. We watched most of Man of Steel last night, not all of it, but most of it. And uh, yeah, it was, it was good. You know, people had said it was, it was good. And then that was about it. And then the vacuum started acting, the vacuum I got my mom started acting up. And when my mom's tired, and I know a lot of you people know this from experience, when somebody you know is tired, is tough, you know, when you, when this, when you know of somebody, again, like I said, I know a lot of you know this from experience, that when someone you know or you're close to is tired, and all of a sudden they have to deal with one thing, something else going wrong, or not working, they get frustrated and they start saying things. In other words, the brain goes like this. And they just let the flesh get in the way. So, 
Yeah, she wasn't happy with the fact that there was a lot of hair sticking between the belt and all that, the, the vacuum, but it worked after that, so. I'm thinking it's more like God's, God had me get her that to kind of test her patience to see if she's patient enough to deal with it. And I think she's going to realize that. She's got to be patient. And then, uh, you know, that was about it. And there you go. Um, a few, so, you know, not a, you know, a few things going on. I mean, the reason we had the kids, just to let you know, is because my sisters and their husbands and their friends and their boy and their girl, my sisters and their husbands and their friends, went to an old school hip hop concert in Modesto which had Stevie B, uh, another group with the name of Color and all that. So they went to go that they went to go to that and obviously had a good time. And uh, really, you know, that's overall not it's not a bad weekend. It's just a few things here and there, a few hiccups here and there, but not too bad. And a few noticeable nuggets. Uh, we did end up getting a new sink. I mean, not a new sink, but a new faucet. The reason we got a new faucet is because the one we had here in the kitchen, the one we had here in the kitchen, um, was had basically finally met its maker. Uh, long story short, when my mom first moved in here a few months before I came, one of the people that visited, I guess they had a get together here. For I think it was my sister step my second sister's my second sister's baby shower for my because this is when she was pregnant with my now six year old nephew. Basically, um, one of the girls there, one of her friends, and my mom tried to turn the sink on and the handle came off the sink. And I was like, Well what was going on here? What happened? So they, basically the sink was okay until then because they were able to fix it temporarily without any help. But it was like, what happened? What, 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 what happened here and all that? So anyway, again, like I said, anyway, it was like the handle came off and it was okay for a while for the past six years, for these past six years until finally it just started to come apart and you know, started to leak a little bit more, and finally we just had to say, okay, landlord, we need you to come down here, and we need you to fix this thing, and that's what he did. So, we got ourselves one of those newer sinks. You'll see it, I think, in a video. Eventually, we have one of those newer sinks. Very nice. And then another noticeable nugget, I don't think anybody would ever think this would happen, happen really, but actually it has happened a couple times to a lot of people, I'm sure. But I never thought it would happen to me. I Now, I mentioned earlier that I got both the Injustice and Ninja Turtle games, right? Well, what happened is that when I got both of them, and they asked me for the two-year plan, and I got the two-year plan for the games, I go to check my receipt. Ninja Turtle game isn't on there. That's right. My, my receipt shows the Injustice game, shows the two-year plan, but doesn't show the Ninja Turtle game. So I practically got the Ninja Turtle game for free. Go figure. That's a good thing. That's a blessing right there, I guess you could say. But really, that's all that happened. And uh, thank you for tuning in to this vlog. And hope you all guys have a good Monday. And I will talk to you all later. But that's all that happened. And comment below, video response if you like. And I am out.